How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So it is a beautiful blue sky and warm morning on the farm, which is fantastic. Absolutely loving the weather right now. And we are just on our way to have a look at how the sheep's doing. So I've been keeping a close eye on them, checking up every day just to make sure they are okay. And so far, we haven't had any issues at all, which is fantastic. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten. Beautiful. So they're all here. Are you okay? Yep. Yep. All good. Just, just chilling out. Nice. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, but, um, no, they've been doing really well. No issues at all. That one there is lying down. Probably, probably just chilling out because it is... Even though it's only 7.30, it is, it is quite warm, so yeah. Right, but I just want to make sure that they are okay for water, which they are. Hello! And they've got the bales, so that's all good. And they've obviously got a lot of grass and stuff here, so that's all good. But you guys have suggested that we put a second fence line in here, which I think is a really good idea, because like now the gate's open, and I mean the sheep could really just walk out which they haven't really tried to do just yet but um you never know but anyway what i thought was we can close this area off and i don't think they'll try and come through the troughs but if they do we can put a bit of wire in there it's not a problem and then over here we can put in a gate and then fence it up to there and then run a fence line from here all the way and follow the road here so i'll obviously have to make sure that the mower can still get through here quite comfortably and also, I'll have to leave quite a bit of space for this corner here. Because if you come in here with a pickup truck and a big trailer to unload or load sheep, you need quite a wide corner through here. And um, I don't want to be blocking myself in too much. But basically, what that'll mean is that top gate will probably just be locked and hardly ever open. The only time you'll ever open it is if you're trying to get in there with a trailer for loading or unloading um, some of the sheep or if we really want to try someday to get in here with a mower or some sort of equipment So yeah, that'll basically just be locked all the time Which means if I do forget this gate open which I haven't done yet, but it will be easy to do It wouldn't matter. They'll still be fine. So that is the plan But I don't think that's gonna be happening today because we've got some other work that we need to be doing and um, Clear yeah clear beautiful so we are gonna head over to the least fields and we're gonna do a bit of seeding as well as a bit of rolling today so we're gonna get some grass in there and then roll it in and that should be good to go at least for a good while and eventually we'll give it a bit of fertilizer and stuff like that to make sure it's a nice high quality grass that we grow there but um yeah we'll just get that done today and i'm just trying to figure out whether it's going to be easier to take the tractor and just sort of run up and down with the equipment because it's really only the cedar and the roller or should we just load everything onto the the pickup truck probably along with the tractor and um, take everything in one go I guess it doesn't really matter because I also want to head over there later on with the trailer here and go collect a pile of rocks that we have next to the field there because it is a lease field and it is right next to the highway and it doesn't look very good so i want to get rid of that and bring it over here um mm, the cultivator's blocking the the roller in there but um that's okay the oh we don't have a bucket i just realized we have to go collect the stone but we don't have a bucket do we we've got a pallet fork and a log fork and we've got a bale spike but I thought we had a bucket. I don't think we do. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Hmm. Might have to give Clever Motors a call there later on. And see whether they've got any in stock. If not, hmm, I might have to um, look at the second hand market. Anyway, the Steeder, I think, probably is still fine. Not sure if there's still seed in there. There might be. I'm not 100% sure on that. But we'll have a look and clear it out if we need to. I want to move that cultivator real quick. Just so that is out of the way. And by the way, the fields are looking absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Can't wait to get into harvesting. 
that is definitely one of my favorite parts of farming is harvesting. Absolutely love it. So got that hooked up. Lifted. Beautiful. So I don't want to put it in the way. Because we are going to have to get to that rock pile later on. So maybe just put it in here. Sort of out the way. We won't be needing that for a little while. Get that unhooked. Beautiful. Right. Um, yeah, so we'll have to look into getting a bucket for this thing. But anyway, let's get that um, the cedar hooked up. And we'll go through it and make sure everything's okay. Oh, hang on. Hello. All right. Well, that was an unexpected phone call from the local police department. So apparently our quad bike is no longer necessary for the investigation. They've got everything they need. So they are going to drop it off for us at the dealership at some point during the day. So yeah, that's cool. We're getting that back. Unfortunately, our two motorbikes were never found and um, they weren't able to, to trace them or anything. So yeah, I'm guessing they're kind of gone, but at least we are getting the quad bike back. So I'm very happy about that. But I am on my way to Clever Motors and we'll speak to Jason real quick and see if they've got some sort of a front loader bucket for us available. Even if they maybe have something secondhand, that'll be fantastic because we're not going to use it that often. And also, I need to get some grass seed. So they'll probably have that, I would imagine. So, yeah. We're going to have a quick chat with him and see what he can do for us. So, anything, anything new? Actually, I haven't had a chance to have a good look around the equipment here. So, I'm not going to spend too much time on it now. But, man, that's a really, really nice little front loader setup. I do like the Kubotas, I have to say. Oh, that's nice as well. M7, beautiful. And McCormick, that's been sitting here for a while. And nice big case 470 beautiful thing new holland nice nice scania as well and these ones i like them uh the john deere that's been sitting here for a little bit i don't know if it's the same one but similar anyway and then you have the little kibota side by side and this one is cool four seater that is really cool i would love one of them not that we need a four seater we don't have that many friends but anyway, let's um, speak to Jason here and see what he can do for us. Um, hopefully they've got everything that we need. But um, yeah, let's see. All right. Well, it must be our lucky day because Jason did in fact have some seed for us. So I've got a big bag of that. And I actually used the forklift there to... Um, fill up the cedar as well but i've got the rest of it in the bucket and yes they did have a bucket unfortunately nothing second hand so we had to buy a new one but they did have in stock and it was a bit expensive it was 1600 dollars. but hey what can you do i was hoping they sort of had an old one lying around that they wanted to get rid of but um, yeah so not completely our lucky day but lucky enough to have gotten one so that we can go and clean up that um rock mess a little bit later on and also we can carry our um seed bag to the field in it so yeah works out pretty well anyway we are gonna head out to the field here and we are gonna start seeding and then we'll take everything back to the farm get the roller and we'll come back here and roll the fields as well and that should be them good to go for a little while at least so we are gonna get the drone out and we're gonna jump into a real quick time lapse so for now sit back relax and enjoy
guitar Looking up at darling stars Singing where we supposed to go now Ruthie, little lady, tell me what you mean to me And I'll build a house in Byron Bay If that's exactly where you done and we are just back here with the trailer and the front loader and we're getting these rocks picked up so hopefully we can get at least most of it we don't have to get absolutely all of it but just so that it looks a little bit better but i do have the weight on the back of the tractor here but even with that it is very very heavy to lift so the tractor is not super happy at the moment but seems to be coping okay but yeah so the the fields there are now properly seeded and rolled and really all that we need to do with them from now on is as soon as we have a bit of germination we'll come through with a final application of fertilizer and that should really give us a very high quality grass in these two fields so i'm very excited for that and hopefully we can not just get a high quality grass for our sheep but also possibly make a bit of silage and maybe just some grass bales and stuff as well that we can sell off for well i hope a tidy profit so yeah it'll be something a little bit different that we haven't really done before and we'll just have to invest in the right equipment of course we need a new baler and we'll probably have to get a bale wrap as well if we want to go into sort of silage. But anyway, other than... Oh, hang on. Hello. Alright, well, we have got all of the rocks over at the farmyard here. And we are just getting the last of it unloaded. That should do. And I'm actually just going to leave the trailer here as well. No point in moving that right now but that was a lady that phoned and she wants to come and have a look at some of the equipment that we have for sale so particularly the tractors i was kind of hoping that she was looking at that baler but um no she sounds like she's farming not too far from here not quite our immediate area but it doesn't sound like she's from too far away and she is in the market for a small-ish tractor. So she didn't say specifically which one. So we'll have to see. So she's on her way now and should be here in, well, a few minutes. And um, yeah, hopefully we can make a sale on one of those tractors today. That'll be 
absolutely amazing because that'll also help of course towards our loan application that is currently ongoing which is for the logging company now i have been in frequent talks with the bank regarding the loan and giving them all of the information that they uh, requested and it sounds like we should be getting an answer on that fairly soon so fingers crossed on that and also some of you seem to be quite concerned that we might not actually be in good standing with the bank because we haven't actually made any payments towards our loans in quite a while and even though this is true we are actually in good standing with the bank because even though we haven't made any payments towards the loans we have not skipped a single payment on the loan interest so we have been paying the interest on those loans and obviously that is how the banks make their money so apparently that is more what they are looking for in terms of an application like this so our credit rating is actually really really good at the moment and our outstanding loans aren't really that high not in comparison with well what we actually have in terms of property and even equipment so no we are actually in pretty good standing with the bank at least that's what i've been told and that's sort of what they look at so yeah we should be okay whether we'll get the loan though that is a big loan um that i don't know i i think that is a that is a 50 50 shot that is quite um quite an amount but i am gonna wait for this um lady to come in and have a look at what we've got available here and hopefully we can make a sale because it'll all definitely help but um yeah she'll she said she's on her way and she'll be here in a few minutes so probably couldn't be long so i'm gonna wait it out and um i'll see you guys in a little bit all right well i have to say that i am very very happy but at the same time very very sad so she came over and she had a look at what we had available but she definitely had her eye on the ford right from the start and the price on that i was gonna go for thirty thousand, and she said you know what twenty eight thousand will take it and i wasn't gonna argue because i thought the price to start with was maybe a little bit cheeky and um to get an offer of twenty eight thousand, probably not gonna get that again so yes unfortunately and fortunately the ford is gone but yeah I'm, I'm a little bit sad about that i really am i did like that and a little little part of me really wanted to keep it but um yeah so that's that's gone now but she was extremely happy she loved it and I think she probably drove past here and saw it as well because when she came in, she went straight to that. And um, yeah, I have a feeling it's not the first time that she's seen it. So um, yeah, we'll have to fill that gap with something else now. But hopefully we can sell a few more bits and pieces. But um, yeah, all red in the dealership here. I just noticed that literally every single item here is red different types of red but red nonetheless oh hang on hello all right well that was the agency and they have got a job for us now it is a harvesting job but interestingly i'm pretty sure we did the seeding on this exact field so that's pretty cool that we're going to be harvesting a field that we seeded and it's not ours so that's pretty cool and i'm thinking it's this one here yep yeah pretty sure we seeded this quite a while ago and it is a big field so it's gonna take us a while oh my goodness look at the equipment my oh my are we spoiled or what goodness me so we've got two trailers over here and i'm not sure why two but um we'll only use one that's fine because i did ask us to take um the harvested crop over to johnson's farmer's market so we'll do that that's not a problem it's not far away 
Um, maybe they actually keep the trailers here on a permanent basis. That's why there's two. And a beautiful header. Massive header. And then look at that. X9. What a beast. Oh my goodness me. That's beautiful. And then we have an 8R310. Fantastic. Wow. Absolutely spoiled. But yeah this is a massive field so this is going to take us a good while to do so we better get going because it's already quarter to two so we are going to get the drone out and we'll get all of this set up and um yeah we're going to get this field knocked out so for now sit back relax and enjoy job done and that is a massive field but i'll tell you what i loved every single minute of that that combine is just something else what a machine absolutely love it someday we'll own something like that goodness me right oh oh hang on i forgot that they were gonna drop that off today our little quad bike is back. Look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. That is brilliant. Starts right up. No issues at all. That's fantastic. Honestly, I can't really figure out why he never sold that. I mean... This was gone long before the bikes ever were, and, um, well, they're gone, and we'll probably never see them again. But, um, yeah, I wonder why I never sold this. Maybe he used it, I don't know. Not a clue. And we probably will never know. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about when we get that back. Are we going to keep it and sell the Mahindra, or are we keeping the Mahindra? Honestly, I kind of like the, the Mahindra. We'll probably end up selling this, to be fair, but... We bought this so long ago, I can't even remember what we paid for it. So, I'll have to dig up the paperwork for it and, yeah, sort of see what we paid. But yeah, we'll probably put this up for sale. But, um, yeah, I'm glad to have it back on the farm, to be fair. Yeah, nice little piece of equipment. I don't know, maybe we'll end up keeping it. I don't know, we'll have to see. But, yeah, happy to have that back. So, the crop is looking really really good and we're going to be into harvesting on our own fields very soon so i'm looking forward to that but we are going to leave it there for today guys so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you all next time